In today's project, we're going to use Google Drawings to create a flowchart on how to build a house. Now, here is an example of what your project could look like by the end, but you're going to start with a blank Google Drawing. I've created the flowchart for you, but you're going to fill in the spaces. Now, to do this, we're going to be creating shapes. I'll teach you how to make sure you can arrange the shapes and put them in an order where one thing might be in front or behind. And I'm also going to show you how to duplicate. I'm also going to show you how to use your paint tool to make things a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and get started. Now you'll notice that the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with one shape and then add something to it for every single step as we decompose our house. We're going to start with creating a shape. So we're going to go to our shapes tool here and we're going to go to this rectangle. Now we're not going to do the rounded rectangle, we're going to do this first one here. So click that, then you're, um, hold down your left click, your green dot on your mouse, and then we're going to draw our shape. And then you can also just move it and center it where you see that red line and that will get it nice and aligned on that line. Let's go ahead and just go back up to the paint bucket and make sure that's white for now. Okay, so that's our first step. So go ahead and do that now. Now the next thing you're going to see is we're going to add our roof with a triangle. So let's go back here and instead of having to recreate this each time, let's work smarter, not harder. Let's just go ahead and duplicate what we have here. So click on this this rectangle and then press control D so hold down control and then D for duplicate and then it comes right there and we can just move that over and you can see how our red lines are helping us make sure everything's in alignment we're going to add a triangle so you're going to go back up to the toolbar for shapes and find this triangle here and then we're going to do the same thing hold down your left click and then we're just going to draw our rectangle and then once you have drawn the rectangle, let's get it back here and make sure it's in alignment. It's not white, go back and make sure that when you click on it, you've gone to the paint tool and that you have chosen it white. So go ahead and do that now. Next thing we have is we're going to add a chimney. So again, let's work smarter, not harder. Let's just highlight this entire house and duplicate it. So to do that, you're gonna take your mouse and I put my mouse about right here and then I hold down my left click and I just drag over. And when you drag it over, just make sure it's just only these two shapes and let go and now everything is selected. Now let's use that keyboard shortcut control D so control and D and then we can duplicate the whole thing and move it over and use our lines for aligning. Go ahead and do that now. Now what we're going to add for this is we're going to add the chimney. We're going to go back to the shape tool and we're going to choose that rectangle again. Now when I choose that rectangle and I draw a rectangle here, you're going to notice when I let go that it's in front and it's also not the right color. So let's go ahead with this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color. So highlight that, go to the paint bucket and make sure it's white. But now you'll still see it's in front and we can easily fix that. So click on this and then go to arrange and then order and just send backward. And then you can see now it is behind. Go ahead and do that now. Our next step is we want to add a door. So let's go ahead back here. Same thing, we're gonna work smarter, not harder. We're going to highlight all of this. Make sure you don't go and get that line or the arrows in there. Click that and then Control D and then move that here. There we go. And then if you're not able to get it exactly where you need to, you can also use your arrow keys to help you a little bit right there. Now the next thing we wanna do is we want to add a door. We're going to go to our shapes, go click on rectangle, and we're going to draw the door right here. And again, we want to change that color. So next, let's do the same thing. We're going to highlight all of this. And if you can't highlight it, here's another trick. You can press down your shift button, hold it down, and then click each shape. And when you click each shape, everything is highlighted at the same time. And then press Control D, it duplicates everything at one time, and bring that over. Now for this step, we're going to add windows. Now to do that, we're going to use the same thing with our shapes. But we're going to bring, I did that rectangle, and I'm going to come over here. But now I'm going to change the color, but I'm going to use the Drawing Align tool. So right here beside Shapes, you see this, that's Line. I'm going to click that, and then you can see that my pointer is that plus sign there. I'm going to go up to the top purple, 
hold down my mouse, and we're going to draw a line. So from there, that purple circle to this purple circle and let go. This purple circle to this purple circle, let go. Now, it still has that. Do you see that? So if you clicked anything, it's going to draw a line. Okay, did you see that? So if that happens, just click on it and then press delete. All right, or, and the other way to do that is if you saw that happen, you can also um, press the escape button. It should take it off. All right, so now that you have that done, we're going to do one thing before we duplicate this window. We're going to group all of these shapes together just for the window. So like I showed you before, we're going to hold down the shift button and then click on that rectangle and then click each of the lines. Now this takes a lot of like just control here. So you see how all of that's done? Now I'm going to go right on top of it. Do you see how my cursor is that crosshairs? On top of that, then right click, so that's your yellow dot on your mouse if you're in my classroom, and then we're gonna go to group. And now, if we move this around, this whole thing is together. So now that that's highlighted, control D, and you have copy the whole box, the whole window. Now, is what's really important here is that we also try to line it up on the other side. So, so make sure you stop and do that now. So so now our house is pretty well done. The last step is just coloring it. So, but first we're going to duplicate. It's gonna highlight this whole thing. Now notice how I'm not bringing my um, cursor below that line because I don't wanna get that line in there. So I'm just gonna do this, let go, and then press Control D, and then move that whole house over here. And do that now. And now it's time to color our house. You can color it with any colors you want, but I'm gonna show you just something really interesting now. I'm going to click on this triangle. I'm going to choose a color for the roof. And let's say I want to use that same color for the door. So what I'm going to do is click on this and now go to the paint formatting tool. It looks like a paint roller. Click that. And then the next thing that you click on, it will turn it the exact same color, take on the same formatting as that roof. So then if I click on the door, it's now the same thing but you can choose to color it whatever color you want we have created our house using a flow chart we've used decomposition which is another great um, vocabulary word you need for technology and we've learned so many different tools today so go ahead and finish your project and make sure you turn it on in on google classroom